can we go for? Hey, here it is. Hey, okay. all right. Okay. I cannot tell you. We just, no I'm sorry. Cares, just, I was just talking to Mr. Goff about how yeah. great it is to have children, and it started. So if you caught a little of that conversation, we were talking about That's right. our kids at home. We couldn't wait to go home and see I'm engaged. Yes. To be married. Mm hmm and we're gonna have kids someday, and we're really looking uh, forward to it. And now what, are we gonna put this on the video? Yes, we are, because you know what? It's a good start. Uh, okay, it is a good start. What we're telling you right now is about orientation. Mm -hmm. Orientation for sixth graders coming up Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday is when school starts. That's when the official first day of school is. But for sixth graders coming into a new school, sometimes it's nice to get a little uh, head start. So on Monday, parents, you can bring your kids in, have a little breakfast at first, then the kids will come down the hallway and come to their home rooms, and we're gonna teach them how to do lockers, we're going to uh, give them a little, um, what do you call it, scavenger hunt? Breakfast, too? Well, yeah, I said that. Okay. But the parents will be learning about some things from uh, the principal mm -hmm. and some other faculty. Adolescents, yeah. middle school Things ages. like that. For the kids, important things they're going to learn are lockers, their teachers, where things are in the school. Then they come back Tuesday. You got, the kids will come back and Tuesday. And then you're going to have an introduction to your class schedules. And That's moms right. and dads, this is your opportunity. It's probably going to be the first opportunity, only opportunity, only that you're going to get in three years to get here before the middle school year start to look at their schedule, peruse around the school, meet the teachers, and have an idea and get a feel for what middle school is all about. And you That's can right. walk them through the process. It's very important okay. to understand this stuff because when you come into school, a brand new school, on the first day of school, it is daunting. It's daunting, and right now you're watching Mr. Goff and I, and, and it's quiet in the background, Yeah. but come Wednesday, it's going to be different. There's going to be 760 students walking back and forth in the, in the hallways, lockers closing, students sitting down, students coming up, asking us questions, and it's Millions not going to be so easy just to think. That's right. It's so if you've had a little think. bit of a, of, if, if you spent time in the school already on Monday and Tuesday with the orientation, mm -hmm. you come in Wednesday as a student, you're feeling a little bit more comfortable. You know, okay, I know where my homeroom is. I know that teacher. I've seen them on Monday and Tuesday already. Mm -hmm. I've tried my locker. Maybe you don't know how to do the locker yet, or maybe it's still a little rusty, but still, you've tried it. Mm -hmm. You're a little bit more prepared. And you're not going to bring your own locks. The lockers have their own built-in locks. That's we right. want this every year. We get students who come in with locks. We don't need locks. They're built right into the lockers. That's right. And it takes time. And you know what, moms and dads? You might even want to spend time helping your children open and close their lockers, because that can take a couple of hours in itself. Can't it? Oh boy, I can't tell you how many times I've had to um, help students even weeks into school. Weeks? And that's months, fine. Months, months but, into school, we still were helping our students that they're, they're, mm -hmm. they're getting in, right? Because, you know, it just... It, there's commotion, a there's hundreds of students behind them walking back and forth. There's a locker above their head, there's a locker below their head, and then there's one on their left and one on their right, and these doors are opening and their mind's going, well, I need this, what book do I need? And meanwhile, they have to get that combination to work. And that's not the best mindset to be in when you're worried about that and you've got to learn things. Yes. In your math class, mm -hmm. science, mm -hmm. language arts, social studies, yes, music, gym. So if you want, you PE. excellent, take advantage of this Mrs. Mantooth and the teachers here are working together to get this ready for summer camp on Monday and Tuesday to get you guys into the school and get you comfortable with the school before the, uh, the, the, the week that begins on Wednesday. That's right. Okay. I don't know if anyone's really uh, understood what we've talked about, but hopefully they have. Hopefully you Go have. Go to the homepage mm -hmm. of the school and you will see the schedule. You'll see what's going on for sixth graders. Seventh grader, eighth graders, they already know what's going on. The, aside from the maybe couple of new students to the school, to the area, but they'll be fine. They're seventh, and I want to take just, I just want to take just a couple of minutes to thank some of the parents for coming in today and giving us some supplies. They came in from last year and they gave us supplies. Even though we're not even going to have their students this year, we had really them last nice year and they're seventh graders. Yeah. They came in and gave us some supplies for our sixth grade students this year, and we really appreciate it. We want to say thank you. Yes. Thank you very much for thank that. Thank you very much. You brought in. Okay. That is very nice. That, that's yeah. hugely helpful. Is that about all we need to say? And um, that's just about it. And we're looking forward to seeing you guys on, on Monday and Tuesday. If you can't make it, right. we're looking forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Yeah, if you can't make it, no big deal. We're still going to tell everybody how to do everything. And we're we're gonna still going to go that, over everything, and then we're still so going to have that head start. Right. If you can. And we're looking forward to a good year. Every year we do better, and next year we're going to be even better. Right? Every year we're getting better. Every year. This is, we're it like, goes good, better. And then better. Better. And then better. And then where does the best go? Yeah, I don't think we ever get there. I okay. mean, you can't, because if you get the best, then you're only going to go down. Well, then there's the best, but then above the best, there's above and beyond, right? Well, yeah. And so, then if you go above and beyond, above and beyond, then you're <laughs> up to what? Best times two? I don't and, know. Uh, I just lost my voice here. We went at the wrong side. <coughs>
<coughs> no. Mr. Goff here is afraid I'm gonna, you know. This isn't Planet of the Apes, the play. Yeah, nothing's gonna happen here, Mr. G. Okay, this is Mr. Play, Goff, though. Mr. Esposito, yeah. signing off. Two thumbs up, and we'll see you on. Monday, maybe. Monday, Monday. Well, it's not Monday, yes. Wednesday. Wednesday.